Hi guys, it's Samantha, and today is the day after Christmas. I hope you guys all had a really wonderful Christmas. I had a fabulous Christmas. It goes by so fast. For me, this is actually the saddest day of the year. I hate it the day after Christmas. It's just, I call it my morning day because I don't like it when Christmas time is over. It goes by so fast, but I hope you guys all had a wonderful Christmas. I know I did, and today I decided to show you guys the books I got for Christmas. So I'm gonna go show you guys my Christmas book haul. So I'm fortunate to live in a family of book lovers who understand my bookish desires so I have quite a few books here to show you guys today so I divided it into three sections nonfiction classics and then well pretty much fantasy I guess you could say everything else but all everything else is pretty much fantasy so I will now start and show you guys what books that I got for Christmas so the first book that I got was for my parents and it is the Middle Ages everyday life in the Middle Ages by Jeffrey Singman I was really really looking forward to this book as you guys know I love history books I like to read about particularly maybe in ancient history and I really like to learn more about people's lifestyles and how they actually lived versus historical events which I also find fascinating but sometimes it's really cool to just to see how people lived in the Middle Ages which is what this book is all about so I'm excited to read it and it's full of really really cool illustration not illustrations but old paintings and things like that so I'm excited to get into this one and kind of read little bits here and there and plus the cover is really cool it looks like this and under the dust jacket this is really pretty green with that so I'm excited to read this one. I love history books. So. The next book I got was from my sister, and it is Louisa May Alcott, The Woman Behind Little Woman, and it is a biography of Louisa May Alcott. As you guys know from my Authors Facts video, I found her whole life to be fascinating, so I'm excited to read more about that, and who knows, maybe I'll do a author facts Louise May Alcott part two after reading this so it looks like it'll be a really interesting read now I will be moving into the classics section of my book haul my sister also got me this edition beautiful Canterbury classics edition of little woman it's this faux leather and it has quotes from the book all over it engraved into the cover and then you see the blue and little woman and then inside it has this which I think is really cool that flap and it just looks really pretty and it has this really cool detail at the top of each page which is a silhouette of a female yeah, I'm just really excited this is a really really pretty edition of Little Woman you can never have too many copies of your favorite books this is quite beautiful the next book I got was from my oldest sister and it is this edition of Anna Green Gables this is the Puffin and Bloom edition and which I got the Little Woman in this edition as well and it is so pretty I love it it is just as pretty as the other one I just love these books and now I just need to get Heidi and Little Princess and I will have the whole set but as you guys know I love I love 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 Anna Green Gables so I was quite excited to get this edition I just think the artwork is absolutely beautiful and I love how it's shiny with the name oh I just love it so much and then like Little Woman inside it has this detail which are little pictures from the book so I just yeah I'm excited I want to reread the series this year too so very, very excited to have this. Next book I got from my parents was Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte. It is in the Penguin English Library Classics Edition, which is one of my favorite Penguin editions for classic books. I really love the texture of it too. It's almost like a fuzzy, silky-ish kind of a texture. I haven't read Wuthering Heights. It's one of the Bronte books I haven't read, so I'm excited to read it, and I'm glad I have it in this edition. Another cool thing I like about this edition is that they have a painting on the inside flap of the author who wrote it. So I think that's pretty cool, plus it's book depository bookmark. Can I just so yeah, very excited and I love the artwork on this one as well. And it's almost Christmassy too because it's like red, white, and green so it was perfect. <laughs> The next book that I got from my parents was The Moonstone by Wilkie Collins, another Penguin English Library Classics edition. I like this one too. It's this pretty lavender color. And inside, of course, you have Mr. Wilkie Collins himself. If you guys follow my channel, you will know that I like Wilkie Collins. I have read His Woman in White, which is an excellent Victorian mystery novel, so I'm excited to read this one by him as well. I heard The Moonstone is even better. The next two books I got from my parents I was so excited about, and they are these two beautiful Penguin Drop Caps editions. If you guys know me and my channel or follow me on Twitter, you will know I am obsessed with the Penguin Drop Caps edition, so I was very excited to get these. The first one is The Wreath by a Sigrid Unstet, I think is her name. These books go A to Z. This is obviously you. It looks like this. See, the pages are colored purple, and it's really, really pretty purple rose. Um, you on the front which I think is really cool and the spine looks like this. The story is really interesting. It is a, about a 14th century Norwegian woman, Kristen. I think her last name is... 
I'm going to butcher it, Lavrenstadter? I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. It starts out with her at, as a child and follows her into adulthood and her romance and try, different trials and things that she encounters throughout her lifetime. So I'm excited to read it. It looks like it's a good book from what I've heard people have read it and plus this is absolutely gorgeous and I'm so excited. I'm so glad I have these now. The other Penguin Draw Caps edition is probably my favorite of the two, and it is The Five Children and It by E. Nesbitt. This is a classic fairy tale, children's fairy tale, and it just looks really interesting. It is a fairy, I believe, and it looks this really, really pretty teal blue color. I absolutely love the letter and the calligraphy that in detail that went into it, and you see there's a little fairy right here. The spine looks like that, and then like this one, the pages are colored teal to match the book. These books are absolutely gorgeous, and I am so excited that I finally own a couple of the drop caps editions because they're so so pretty and I can't wait to read them because it looks like they'll be really really cool just look at them and their beauty guys look at them I love them so much and now into the fantasy section of my book haul. So again, if you guys follow me regularly, you will know that I am obsessed with Tamora Pierce. She is one of my favorite authors. I own many of her books, but I don't own her first three quartets, which I've always wanted to own. So I was very, very excited to receive the Alana Quartet from my parents for Christmas, the new box set edition. I fell in love with it. I loved this edition when I saw the new covers come out, so I was very excited to get it, and I'll show you guys what the covers look like now. The first book looks like this. It is Alana, the first adventure. The next one is In the Hands of the Goddess with the cat that is not actually just a normal cat. He's also a constellation slash god creature thing. If you read the series, you'll know exactly what I mean, but I love this one. I think this one's one of my favorites. The third book in the series is A Woman Who Rides Like a Man, and it looks like this with her shield on it with her crest and it just again looks super awesome and the last but not least is lioness rampant the last book in the quartet and it looks like this if you guys have not read this book series i highly recommend you check it out they are a great fantastic young adult fantasy series it's a quick read i guess as well as i consider it more middle it starts out more middle grade and then kind of transitions into young adult i think but i love these books i read them when i was in high school and fell in love with them and i'm going to start reading them in january and i can't wait the next book i got is actually the first book in the second quartet by tamora pierce and it is wild magic this is one of the original covers that i actually do like it is a hardbound that has the printing on the front i got this from my sister's boyfriend and i absolutely love it i am so excited that i now have the first book in the next quartet and i am really excited i was able to find this edition because this isn't an easy edition to to find and I even got a Powell's bookmark to go along with that. I love Powell's. The next book I got from my parents was The Lost Hero, the first book in the Heroes of Olympus series by Rick Riordan. I can finally go back into Percy Jackson and all of his friends. I'm very excited. I haven't read the series yet and this is the first book in the series and I really like the cover, the animatronic looking dragon thing. I don't know yet. I'm sure those of you who have read the series, which is pretty much everyone, knows what this is. I don't know yet, but I'm excited to get into it and read it because I love the Percy Jackson books. The next book I got for my sister, and that was Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. I think I'm one of the last people on booktube to read this book. I'm excited to see what I think of it. I hear mixed reviews. People either super love it or they don't much care for it at all, but I'm excited to see what I think of it. I read the first few pages, and it seems like it'll be kind of a fun book. Also, I love the texture of this book, too. I don't know. I like these paperbacks have this weird, fuzzy, soft texture thing. Yes, I'm petting my book, and I am not ashamed. The next book I got for my parents was Merlin in the Lost Years, book one by T.A. Barron. I read this series back in high school and I absolutely loved it. I don't think I ever finished last two. I think they might have come out later. So I'm excited to start reading the series again. This the series follows Merlin from a very young age, from childhood on upwards and his journey into adulthood, and it's really, really good. I remember really, really enjoying it, and I really love these new paperback editions, and if I'm ever able to get the whole book series, which I hope I will be able to, they all are different colors, so when they are going to be lined up, they're going to look super cool, so I'm really excited to start reading this book series again, and I recommend it. If you love Arthurian legend and you want to get into some more Arthurian legend retellings, I recommend checking out this series, because from what I remember, it was very, very good. And last, but not least, and one of my favorite books that I received was this 30th anniversary edition of The Princess Bride by William Goldman. The Princess Bride is one of my all-time favorite books. It's in my top 10. I absolutely love it, and this edition is absolutely stunning. When I first saw it months ago, I fell in love with it. It looks like this on the cover, and it is filled with tons of really, really beautiful artwork throughout the book. There is Buttercup and Wesley. And all of the pages are glossy, which I think is kind of cool because you don't typically see that in a book. And I'm trying to find another picture right now to show you guys. Here's Wesley with some R-O-U-S's. And I don't know, guys, it's just so beautiful. And I can't wait. I want to reread this book. It's been a while. There's Wesley and Buttercup again. It's just an absolutely beautiful, stunning edition of the book. The inside flap, the inside of the book is this really pretty blue. And the spine looks like that. So I'm excited to finally own this book. 
I have the old paperback edition, which of course I'll keep because I got that when I was a kid. But I'm really excited to have this series anniversary edition and it is so stunning. Alright guys, that was my Christmas book haul. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know down in the comments how your Christmas went and if you received any cool books for Christmas that you're super excited about. As well, let me know what you thought of any of these books if you have read them. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, happy reading. Bye!